Dear students, in this video, we will learn how to prepare dibenzyl acetone. The general advisory is that the video is for educational purposes only and all safety precautions were taken during the demonstrations. Students are advised to follow all safety measures and perform the experiment under the supervision of their guide, educator, trained professional only. First of all, let me introduce to you the dibenzyl acetone. Dibenzyl acetone is abbreviated as DBA and is formed through an interesting reaction known as claisen schmidt condensation reaction named after two groundbreaking chemists R. L. Claisen and J. G. Schmidt. claisen schmidt condensation is a type of crossed aldol condensation reaction DBA is used as sunscreen because of its ability to absorb UV light. It is also used as a ligand in preparing organometallic complexes which are employed as catalysts in various coupling reactions. The structure of DBA is this. The theory about the synthesis of DBA is that DBA is obtained by the condensation of benzaldehyde with acetone in the presence of sodium hydroxide base. It is an example of claisen schmidt reaction. The aromatic aldehyde that is benzaldehyde used in the reaction in the presence of alkali undergoes condensation reaction with some aldehyde or ketone containing alpha hydrogen atoms and here we have used ketone acetone. In the presence of sodium hydroxide aldehydes are known to condense with another aldehyde or ketone by eliminating a water molecule but ketones are not that prone to undergo self condensation that is the reason why with one mole of acetone two moles of benzaldehyde undergo condensation to give dibenzyl acetone and the reaction can be summarized like this. Two moles of benzaldehyde reacting with acetone in presence of base leading to formation of dibenzyl acetone. The materials required for the reaction are benzaldehyde 2.5 ml, acetone 1 ml, 10% aqueous NaOH solution 5 ml and rectified spirit 25 ml. The chemical equation is 2 moles of benzaldehyde react with 1 mole of acetone in the presence of base with the loss of water molecule forming dibenzyl acetone and in the equation the molar masses of the reactants and the product are shown which are useful in calculating the theoretical yield of the reaction. So let us see how can we calculate the theoretical yield for this reaction. Here the amount of acetone that we have taken is 1 ml and this 1 ml can be converted into grams through the use of its density which is 0.79 grams per ml. So therefore for 1 ml the mass of acetone comes out to be 0.79 grams. This mass can be converted into moles by dividing the mass with molar mass which is 58.08 and that makes the moles of acetone taken 0.0136 mole. The amount of benzaldehyde that we have taken is 2.5 ml. In the same way, it can also be converted into its mass by the use of its density and can be divided with its molar mass to obtain the number of moles which comes out to be 0.024 mole. And if we compare these two moles we can see that this value 0.024 is slightly higher than 0.136. So we can conclude that benzaldehyde is used in slight excess and hence the limiting reagent of the reaction is acetone which has 0.0136 mole. So by principle dibenzyl acetone cannot be formed more than the limiting reagent. So ideally we can obtain 0.0136 moles of dibenzyl acetone which comes out to be 3.186 grams by multiplying the moles with the molar mass. Seldom in a reaction 
we get the exact theoretical yield because of various factors the experimental yield that we get is always less than theoretical yield and hence the percent yield can be calculated by dividing the experimental yield with theoretical yield multiplying it with 100 let's talk about the mechanism of this reaction in part 1 there is formation of enolate ion by deprotonation of an alpha carbon so this is the reactant acetone and it is its alpha carbon which is acted upon by base which abstracts one hydrogen and deprotonates it to form the carb anion and this carb anion is resonance stabilized the alpha hydrogens of this molecule are sufficiently acidic that's why they can be abstracted with the application of base and the reason of its acidity is that there is a difference in the electronegativity between carbon and oxygen oxygen being more electronegative pulls the electron density towards it making the carbonyl carbon electron deficient and that electron deficiency is ultimately relayed on to the alpha hydrogens that make it easily abstractable the second question that arises here is that the second reagent that we have used is benzaldehyde so why is not that deprotonated in the presence of base so the reason of that is that benzaldehyde does not have any alpha hydrogen in the second part of the mechanism there is nucleophilic addition of the enolate to the carbonyl taking place so this is the enolate generated in part 1 from the acetone which attacks on to the carbonyl carbon of the benzaldehyde leading to the formation of this anion and this anion immediately abstracts proton from water leading to beta hydroxy ketone intermediate now the question here is that why does the enolate nucleophile attack the benzaldehyde and not another equivalent of acetone and the answer to that is that ketones do not preferably self condense under the given conditions in the third part of the mechanism dehydration of the beta hydroxy ketone intermediate takes place in the presence of base leading to the formation of alpha beta unsaturated ketone also known as monobenzyl acetone ordinarily heat is required to dehydrate some beta hydroxy ketone product however this particular aldol product dehydrates spontaneously at room temperature because it leads to formation of a product which is extensively conjugated in the fourth and final part of the mechanism there is nucleophilic addition of enolate to the carbonyl followed by dehydration so this is the monobenzyl acetone shown here in the red color formed in step 3 which is acted upon by the base and it loses water generating the resonance stabilized enolate which attacks on to the second mole of benzaldehyde molecule leading to formation of this carbon carbon bond which again undergoes dehydration very spontaneously leading to formation of dibenzyl acetone dba and this product you can see is extensively conjugated that's why this dehydration takes place very spontaneously let us see how shall we proceed for the synthesis of dba in the first step we'll take a conical flask of about 100 ml capacity and to it we will add 2.5 ml of benzaldehyde taken in a measuring cylinder 1 ml of acetone and 25 ml of alcohol After that we will cork the flask and shake to obtain a clear solution so as you can see in this video we have obtained a clear solution next we are going to take 5 ml of 10% NaOH solution in a test tube and we will add this solution drop wise to the conical flask with constant shaking of the flask during this addition the temperature is to be maintained at 20 to 25 degree centigrade 
Next, we'll cork the flask again and shake the contents vigorously for about 10 minutes and we will be releasing the pressure from time to time by opening the cork at intervals. After the shaking is complete, we will allow the reaction mixture to stand for about 20 minutes at room temperature and then cool the mixture in ice taken in a water bath. So what shall we observe is that pale yellow colored dibenzyl acetone separates out as crystals as is shown in this video. We will now filter the yellow colored solid and wash it with water to remove traces of sodium hydroxide. The obtained product is crude and may be recrystallized for which we will dissolve it in minimum amount of hot rectified spirit and then allow it to cool slowly. When it is cooled slowly, pale yellow crystals of dibenzyl acetone start separating out. We will filter these and dry in the folds of the filter paper and weigh and record the yield. So this is how the crystals will look like after recrystallization. The precautions which may be taken during the synthesis are Whenever there is a vigorous reaction within the flask, we have to release the pressure by opening the cork of the flask from time to time. We don't have to let the temperature rise beyond 30 degrees centigrade and ethanol and acetone are to be kept away from the flame as they are inflammable. Some of the viva questions related to this synthesis are why is dibenzyl acetone used in sunscreens? So it is a common ingredient in sunscreens because UV light is absorbed by dibenzyl acetone and helps shield the skin from the harmful rays of sun. Moreover, it doesn't cause any allergic reaction. Second is what is the role of aldehyde without alpha hydrogen in collagen reaction? So the role of the aldehyde without alpha hydrogen that is benzaldehyde is that it has no proton for deprotonation of an alkali and it will not compete to form an enolate and the ketone enolate will act as the nucleophile. Therefore, the aldehyde electrophile binds to the enolate nucleophile leading to the desired product. It also prevents the formation of undesirable byproducts. And finally, why is dibenzyl acetone yellow in color? Because it is an aromatic compound and consists of an extensive conjugated pi system that absorbs light in the visible region of electromagnetic spectrum at around 380 nanometers and hence appears yellow in color. Thank you very much for watching the video.